plants that are there in the pipeline, it is another 250 to 270,000 crores worth of contracts that are waiting. So, uh, like I said, Atmir uh, is what we are riding on and uh, all these contracts that I am talking about, majority of them, majority of them are with the Indian uh, partners, Indian industry. But uh, this Atmirbharata cannot be at the cost of nation's defense. Nation's defense comes first and foremost. And if Indian Air Force or Indian forces have to ride on this Atmirbharata, it is only possible if everyone, you know, from uh, DRDO to DPSUs to the private industry, holds a hand and take us to that on that path and don't let us deviate from that path because when it comes to national defense there will be compulsions to deviate from that path in case we do not get the things that we need or the the kind of uh, systems and weaponry that is required to survive in today's world so my uh, humble request to each one of us here including you know uh, we in uniform that let's uh, you know, find a system, put a system in place where we are helping each other out in achieving the overall goal, which are our goals. It is not anybody else's, it's not yours or mine. These goals have to be treated like our goals. If we have to defend the nation, it is everybody's job. It is not just the job of a person in uniform. So if, whether you are in uh, DRDO, doing the, you know, uh, innovative technologies or uh, innovative uh, uh, solutions that you are thinking of conceiving or you are in uh, uh, defense PSUs or private industry who are uh, implementing those uh, innovative uh, technologies or solutions in the form of a product, we all have to work in unison, we all have to work at a much, much faster pace. The rate at which we are getting our equipment at the moment is too low. And if we don't increase that rate, so along with the, you know, these uh, R&D agencies who are looking at new technologies and new uh, systems to develop, the industry has to be ready to absorb the technology. Industry has to build the capability and capacity both so that when we look at our uh, adversaries, the rate at which they are growing, the rate at which they are imbibing these technologies and still growing in numbers, we have a long gap to catch up with and this gap is widening further. So this is something that we need to look at 